And I can recall beautiful babies killed in crossfires or random violence in the streets of Chicago. When you prepare a six-month-old infant for a funeral service, that will break your heart. I'm Spencer Leake, President and CEO of Leak & Sons Funeral Home, 83-year-old business here in the city of Chicago. What is happening on the south side of Chicago is an enormous outbreak of violence that is causing havoc. Two-year-old Levante White and 26-year-old Lazarette Collins were killed. Some time ago when we saw a young person in our funeral home, it was due to an accident or drowning, something horrific, however, something rare. But now it is the norm. It seems that victims of violence are getting younger and younger, and it becomes a challenge, of course, to the family. It becomes a challenge to us in the funeral business to be able to service those families in such a way as to mitigate or marginalize their grief. We have to engage in a, in a very particular type of, of arrangement, requires some counseling, some grief therapy. We did not have to do that if the death was natural. Okay, Jeff. Father God, we humble ourselves before. When we're trying to provide this family with an open casket, there may be uh, injuries to the face. We are constantly seeking to give the type of service that allows the victim's family to celebrate their life in spite of the way that particular loved one's life ended. I'm emotionally involved because of the fact that I put myself in the place of that grieving mother or father. You cannot give the type of service that we give unless you project yourself into the sorrow and the grief that's taking place in front of you. But it breaks our hearts. We've left this business going home with tears in our eyes on many occasions for my people, and I have to counsel them when they deal with situations where a child has to be put in a casket for a funeral service and a burial. I try to go to the funerals, uh, no matter how many, to let the families know I cared enough about them to make sure that everything was in order. The ones that really stick out in my mind is where infants are victims. I can recall beautiful babies killed in crossfires. Two kids both shot in the head within minutes of each other in unrelated shootings this weekend. Right now, these, these kids' blood is on your hands. So do something about it. It's a type of hurt that makes me want to be active and proactive. I'd like to see a relationship between the police and young people that is not adversarial. I'd like to see the Bible in Chicago Public Schools instilling in young people values and morals and character. I don't believe that anyone should be comfortable and watch all of the negative activities that exist in this city. I just can't service families who are losing loved ones without doing something proactive to prevent it. Give us what we need, Lord, to be effective, to serve our families with the spirit of excellence and with the spirit of love. These are the blessings we do ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay.